Weather couldn't be any better. Don't the whole world feel lighter? Good evening, mister. Passez une bonne soirée. How do you do, sir?
Hello there. Oh, uh, can you move out of the way, please? Hello, mister. Get a load of this room. Mister. Well... You okay, boy? Okay there, boy. Huh. 
There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just that he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <clears throat> <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that is a very stiff woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Ah! 
time ago, boy. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. in there. This way. How do they expect anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground? Is that what you want, Marston? Peace? One day. Okay, I'll lead. You watch behind me. doing this. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook him. Place is starting to make my skin crawl. When my time comes, Arthur, make sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. This place gives me the chills. I'm gonna push your head. You watch my back. Wait. Hey there. 
here, boy. Well, they can't be far. Let's keep going. I'll try this way. Trying to wake him. Okay. Come on. You see anything? in here. Here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Think 
There might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. We best stick to the side. Back to Dutch. Easy. I think we lost. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Well, let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, let's just see where we're at once we've got Jack. Let's get this done. Easy now. Come on, Arthur. You coming in with me? Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Looking. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Come on, pal. Let's go. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah. All right. Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. 
I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Son, everything. We got him. Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. He's back, all right. Hey, make some room for John there. Come on, are we still playing or what? Good to have you back, kid. We missed you. Hey, how about a song? Play us away! Woo! Ese lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca 
es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. No se alegran, cielito lindo los Mirando por rebajejo. ¿Dónde habitan los pichones? Ya cayó el que andaba ausente. Ahora verán los cabrones. Ay, ya se secó el jacalito. Donde colgaba mi espada. Hey! Tahiti, Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise. An unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. <laughs> I ever tell you boys about the time I was hanged? Oh, uh, I think so. Tell us again. Sure. So I got caught doing something or other. I was just a kid, 17, 18, long before I met Dutch. I was newly an orphan. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was. And he decided I was going to be hanged for it. For a chicken? Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. But uh, someone I never saw, he shot the rope. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. <laughs> and I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. <laughs> well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. Suspiciously as usual. Uh, I'm just trying to give y'all you your moment. Well, very kind. He asked me for my handkerchief to wind around his head. And me being a little fool and thinking it no harm, I jumped in bed beside him to keep my sailor warm. Singing home, boys, home. This is where I want to be. Just like a regular home evening for you, Uncle. Girl on well, I try to keep some fun in my life, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> That's how you stay young. He climbed a pure low. He rumbled me, he chuckled me, he screwed me to the wall. He never let me catch my breath, I got no sleep at all. He up me and he jacked me and he caught me out and then he fucked me black and blue. Though, of course, it was a sin. In the morning before the day, 
Thank you. Uh, I'll just watch. Thank Suit you. yourself, then. See it for what the hell it is. Stage, pulling all about the sheet, make love to about the sheet. We started out. Oh, there he is, Mr. Hoy and Marley. Miss O'Shea. It's Marley. Marley, you must be drunk. I am not. <laughs> Get some rest. Get some rest. Get some rest. What am I, a child, to be talked to like that? I am a lady. A lady, well bred, not so trot up off the street I'm a lady. Oh, yes, I can see. Very lady. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I have the feeling you're about to tell me. You have ruined my life. I see you on your shoulders. I'm sure you do. You see everything differently. When you're pale, you you have to walk only half way. Leaving alone. You have to push the other hand. They started in 1849. All opposition made it by the people. Root hog One of these days, we'll get you singing. Uh, you don't want to hear that, I promise. Oh, but I do, Herr Strauss. My mistake, Mr. Strauss.
You awake yet? <laughs> what? So you you were snoring, that's right all. Now? Damn it, Arthur. <sighs> Let me sleep. He even looks like you, John. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so, yours, Mary. Morning to you. Oh, gotta stay away from that whisk. How have you been, Arthur? Okay. You seem well, Reverend. Yes. Well, maybe. I've been okay before, but then I make a fool of myself again. So do I. I went into town. 
So did I. If I was still a, a religious man, I'd say there are too many Catholics there, but I've, I've given up on all that. Mm. Me too, Reverend. I met a monk there. Kindly fellow. Took me back to my days in college. Is there any purpose to this conversation, Reverend? Not really, but he said the strangest things about all manner of bad things happening in town. Bad things happening in a city. <laughs> Who would have thought it possible? Yes. Well, maybe if you're there, you could have a chat with him. He's hanging about outside the marketplace collecting alms for the poor. Sounds thrilling.